Hello, welcome to LEB Toys. Well, you have seen what too much pink looks like, and it looks just like this <laughs> with Pinky McPink Pink and pink cherries and a whole feature wall of Unikitty pink faces. But today, today, we are going to challenge ourselves to make, well, to see how much is too much pink. Blue! Yes, today we are going to find as many blue bricks as I can find. In fact, we've got, I've got a lot of blue bricks. In fact, there are quite a few shades, like different shades of blue bricks in LEGO. So this should be fun and a little bit easier than the pink. We got this, I really like this color blue. I don't even know what we call it. I don't really like that one, but I got lots of that. And I like the aqua one. We're going to use that for some highlights. Dark blue is gorgeous. Love that. And then we got heaps and heaps of this dark aqua -y one. And this one, I call this like the Cinderella blue because it's in lots of Cinderella sets. I'm definitely going to use some translucent blue to break up all those opaque blues. And we got some really funny pieces too, including, oh, I just want to use this shark suit. How on earth am I going to use that? I will think of a way. Okay, let's move all of this to the side so that we can get started. And we are going to need to remove the pink because today is not about pink. Today is about too much blue. So let's make some characters first. Let's make, uh, let's make a girl, a blue girl. And I asked you guys for some ideas for character names because I'm not very good at naming, hence Pink the Pink Girl was called Pinky McPink Pink. Uh, but before we decide on a name, let's see, I've got quite a few blue hair pieces like this mohawk. What do you think? Dark blue mohawk. Yeah, we could wear it to the side like that or not. All right, fine. Fine, no mohawk for today. How about this one, which I actually painted for my custom LOL mini dolls. This one was for uh, for Aqua Queen, Splash Queen, Splash Queen. And whoa, oh, this one's, we could definitely use the Sweet Mayhem hair piece. It's all shiny. It's very cute. So we could try that one. Though I have a plan for this doll. We're going to, uh, maybe she could be a genie. She could, we could actually theme the whole thing as a, no, all right, not as a genie build. Okay. Or it could be really cold because she's wearing a jumper, so she could wear, no. I've got another one of these, which is almost like a whole sleeping bag top. <laughs> that one looks really warm and cozy. But unless I'm actually making a wintry scene, which I don't intend to, I'm not going to use that. This one is like Tina's hat. Uh, so the hat's blue from uh, from the Fantastic Beasts movie. That's really cute. It's just so cute. What else have I got though? Oh, okay. So the vampire sparkly glitter hair from the spa, from the Lego Movie 2 spa set. Uh, don't know that any of these are really working yet. She could have a unicorn head. I told you there was some really fun pieces in blue. I must be a way I can use that too, but maybe not as her hair. How about this one? I like the stripe of pink on it because it goes with the pink in her jumper. Oh, I like that. Ooh, that one might be the one. But I'm not finished yet. There's still more blue hair pieces. There's also this one from the uh, from the general from the from the Ninjago movie sets, which is really cute little blue pixies. I love pixie cut. It's really really cute. But there's still more. This one has got half pink and half blue, and I adore this hair piece. But I think it might be cheating to have half pink, half blue. Though I would totally cheat if it worked. This one is one of the elves hair pieces which I have hacked the ears off. Not very well because it's really hard to cut pieces out of these rubbery hair pieces but enough. So I like that one. Or this one which is uh, Livy's alternate hair. So I'm going to finalize it with these three and because I have I have an idea of she needs she needs a little bit of mum hair because I like that one so 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 much but I have a plan to make her the blue mum in this set. Mama blue. So I think this hair is going to do really nicely for her. And we're going to make a daddy blue as well. So let's let's put him together. I'll find some blue outfits. And this guy here has got some blue eyes, so that'll be good. And let's, <laughs> let's go through some of these hair pieces again. Sparkly vampire hair. Uh, I don't think anyone would take him seriously with that. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, why would you ever want to be taken seriously? He could have a mohawk! Ha! <laughs> uh, but no. Fine. No, no mohawk. Aladdin. Yeah, genie hair. Okay, so genie dad and blue haired mom. Perfect! No, I'm just joking with you. We're not going to stick with the genie hair as much as I would like to. We'll do something relatively sensible. Like, this is an elf's hair piece, which I have once again cut the ears off of, and he looks hilarious with his hair. So, we have got mummy and daddy blue, and we are going to call her Sky, 
and him cobalt. So sky blue and cobalt blue. And of course, they're going to need little baby blue. <laughs> This one's so perfect to add to this family. I painted this little wrapped baby for the Darlington triplets. So the Lego babies don't actually come wrapped in blue. I had to paint this one. <laughs> but this family is not finished yet because I've got some more blue babies. Here they are, look. <laughs> We're gonna have not one, but two little one-year-olds as well as a newborn. Oh my goodness, this family has got their hands full. We're gonna call these one, this one Oceana and this one Lavender. There. So they've all got little blue names. Now they need a little, not a whole blue home, because I just don't know that I can manage that, but let's build them blue room. Let's, let's see if I can build them a nursery. A nursery for three babies, or well, one newborn baby and two rambunctious little one-year-olds. And of course for mum and dad too, for, for Cobalt and Sky. Okay, right. <laughs> Where do we start? Let's start with a bed because you got all so cross with me because I didn't make a bed for Pinky McPink Pink and that's because we just didn't have enough room. We can only fit so many things in each room. So let's theme this one as a bedroom so you do get a bed this time. And I've got plenty of nice blue colors that I can use here. I love this dark blue because it's just such a sleek color. So let's make a bed fit for parents who've got lots and lots of babies and really need to sleep. That's not, no, hold on. So if I take these off, I can actually just put these on the side. Then I could put one in the middle in between them. There we go. All right, this is looking good. So let's use these really light aqua pieces as the pillows. And I'm actually really spoilt for choice. There's lots and lots of blue. There are lots and lots of blue pieces. So let's, uh, let's make a little kind of roundy over head, like a headboard for this, for this bed too. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's just check out. Oh, that is going to look so comfy. Sky and little baby blue are going to be able to hang out on there. But let's put it, uh, let's put it over in the corner. But before we do that, before we do that, we'll put some little studs on so that it's nice and easy to attach to the base plate. Nice. All right. We've got a bed, a blue bed. Now we just need to have to try and put some walls in without making it look too blocky. And to do that, we're going to use some translucent pieces. And here is one that I've actually, I've put some washi tape down the sides. It looks like curtains. So that was really, really simple. And I kept it in the blue cast game. Huh. All right. So on the side, we'll put like a little side, well, just a little spot where we can put, ah, oh, I want to use... I want to use the, the necklace. So this is going to be like a necklace display because the necklace has got a little blue gemstone in it. And then we can use, we've got blue sunglasses. So let's put that on the top. And that's, that's oh, actually that kind of looks like an old school telephone, but it's a little bit low down. So we'll just put a stud in and then we can put it up a bit higher. That's, that's really cute. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is going very well because there's lots of blue choices. Okay, we'll put a tall translucent brick here. That'll let lots of nice light in. And then we might make another little side table, a little tie table thing with these window frames, these blue window frames. We can use that as a table and we might be able to put, let's put a lamp on it. So let's use this little translucent blue, well, round bit. And we'll put the disc on the top and look at that. Nice blue lamp on a blue side table. <laughs> Okay, we've got a bed and we've got some nice furniture for the parents. Now we need to start thinking about the babies. So first up, let's make a cot. And I'm very thankful to have some bricks here with some outward facing studs in blue because I don't have many. And in fact, I only have them in this dark, dark blue. So I was really lucky to have that because without the outward facing studs, I can't, well, I couldn't have used, unless I was feeling really clever, I couldn't have used these cradle pieces that actually came with the crib in the hospital, in the Lego Friends hospital. So this is perfect for making a little crib for, I don't know how we're going to fit three babies in there, but maybe this one's just for little baby blue. Let's see. Oh, look, he looks so cozy in there. So we've managed to make a cot out of blue. Let me see if we can we'll go and try and snuggle it right up here against, oh, actually I can't put it right up against the wall because of the cot sides, but just out a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> Mm, all right, so above, I would have loved to have made a little, uh, a hangy thing. What do you call those things? You know, the things that hang over the baby's cribs to <laughs> entertain them. I've forgotten the words. But we're going to use this instead because I don't have any kind of 
things that I can dangle very well. So this is going to be the mobile, the mobile, there we go, the baby mobile. Got it, right. Also looks a little bit like lights, but that's okay, <laughs> we'll do. And I've put a little baby sticker on this here to make the nursery just look so cute. Otherwise this back translucent blue wall is just looking a bit boring and I don't like boring. Now let's try and, let's try and connect all of these walls up so that they're nice and secure with the pieces that I have. And put a little two one there. And on top of these here, we might make some translucent pieces and we can kind of pretend that they're lights. Now we're going to line them with smooth pieces and you'll see why when we get to the end because you guys gave me a fantastic idea. I think you're going to like it and I loved the idea too and hopefully I can make it work for every one of these builds. We'll just have to see. Now down here I want to make a place to be able to put this bag because it's blue and this can be the mum's, oh it could be like the baby's baby bag, you know, which full nappies and all the things you have to take when you take babies out. So the nappy bag down here. And let's put some toys in this nursery. So I've got this little blue bear that came with one of the elves sets. And actually elves are good for lots of little blue toys. We've got a little blue dragon and a flip fish, a fish. I can't even say, we don't want a fish. I don't want a fish for a toy. We could have a little blue parrot and a blue, oh no, hold on, that's a shark. Let's not do that, might be a little bit scary, but I really want to use the shark suit. <laughs> Maybe not. And this owl, which is also an elves owl, that's awesome. And a baby dinosaur. We've got a lot of choices here. So let's make some storage display areas for all of the toys for these kids. My goodness, I love this dark blue petaled piece. It's so cute. Let's use this as, as the place for the little bear. This bear's just gorgeous just gorgeous. I just want to give it a cuddle. Let's put a stud underneath, I think, because I'm going to need that to be able to connect it onto the base plate. Let's snug it right in next to the cot so it can watch over baby blue while, while he sleeps. Oh, and right. Let's see what else. Oh, I wonder if I can put, we could make a set of drawers. I've got just a couple more of these outward facing stud pieces. So let's use this one with the Cinderella blue. We'll make Cinderella blue front drawers, draw fronts on it and we'll put a little single stud on the top so we can put that over here and we could pop a toy on the top of that plus we've got some storage for the nursery. So let me see we can not fit the dragon on there because it's too wide. Ah, done. Oh we can't fit the bird either so and the owl doesn't fit either. The dinosaur is quite flat on the sides though. <laughs> Dinosaur's now got his head in, head in the clouds. <laughs> Maybe I can turn him around and just put his tail in the clouds. Uh, no, that looks all right. That'll do for now. I might move the dinosaur. Let's make another bit of a display. We'll make this one a bit higher. We can put this one over here and we can perch the owl up on here. Such a beautiful owl. And that dinosaur's just got his face and his tail in everywhere. So let's put, oh, let's put a baby bottle on top of the set of drawers. Oh, that's perfect. And let's make just another little, let's just make a high perch over here on the side. And then the dinosaur can just kind of sit there angled, sticking his tail out. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, they've got some toys. Oh, I've got these printed pieces, which are actually Stephanie's bedspread and that's going to make a really nice, we've got two of them, uh, let's make a nice big long mat for the babies to play on along the front of the nursery. All right, well we filled up that space really well. There's, uh, let's bring some babies in. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I put a little blue ball too so they've got something to play with and we'll bring Daddy Blue in to supervise because I think these toddlers, will be <laughs> it's two of them, going to be a handful. Now I've still got a bit of space over here, maybe I could make like a little chair, maybe a really cute low down chair for that space. Oh, I've got all of these. <laughs> We've got the puppy, like the puppy corn printed faces and a whole heap of little tails as well. Printed tails from the unicorn, unikitty and the puppy type things. I wonder how I could use them to make like a really cute chair. I wonder if I can. We could use the puppy ears, maybe. Maybe we could use these as like big dangly ears. I wish I had some that matched because they don't actually match. <laughs> that looks ridiculous. Oh, it sits up nicely by itself. I think it's going to be a bit wide but to actually fit that space because that's actually three studs wide and I don't, I think it will be too big. So I might just have to give up on my idea of using the puppy corn faces as for a cute chair. Let's build this up here. We could put maybe the tails on either side here. 
Does that look too ridiculous? They just don't match. I need them to match just a bit more. Let's use these ears. So let's let's get rid of those. And let's use the little puppy dog ears on the side. And we'll, you now we can't use those. Oh, <laughs> it's a shame. I'll think of somewhere else to use them. And maybe if I put these out like this. Oh, and I could use this little printed piece here. It's not printed. This one with a sticker on it. This could be, oh, do you think this might be like a potty? We could make this a potty for the babies. <laughs> I don't think they're too little for a potty yet. But it's so cute. Let's call it a potty or a chair. It's up to you. It could be either. It could be multifunctional. Actually, don't. Don't use it for both. It's either one or the other. <laughs> Look, the babies are going to go and check it out. There we go. One baby's on the potty. <laughs> and the other one's going over to check it out. All right. Okay. I think that I have filled this space with as much blue stuff as I possibly can. Oh, hold on. Where's Daddy Blue off to? He's... <laughs> Excellent. All right. So this is how the shark suit... <laughs> <laughs> don't scare the children. Oh, actually, I don't think you can scare these children. Oh, they would like some dress up costumes too. Perfect. So you can have the genie helmet and you can have the. Oh, hold on. That's a bit too top heavy for you. Let's try again. A unicorn helmet for you and they're all playing dress up. <laughs> Ridiculous. They're just, they're just so cute. So we've got a whole little room here, a nursery room made out of blue. We can bring in a blue scooter and mummy blue. Sky Blue can go out to work. Let's put her <laughs> nappy bag now turned into a work bag on the back of the scooter. And she's going to leave Daddy Blue at home with all the kids. And she's off. Off three days work. See you. Hi, <laughs> Sky. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, she knocked over one of the babies. I don't think she cares. All right, she's gone to work. It's up to Daddy to look after the babies. But we're not finished yet because I told you you gave me a great idea. Let's see whether we can make an apartment building out of these too much builds. Now, the blue one's a little bit longer than the pink one, so we're gonna have to make this on the bottom. We're gonna have to make sure this is on the bottom, otherwise it's gonna hang over the top. So we could put the pink one on the top, except we've got absolutely no support at the front of this. So let's put some more translucent pillars up here up the sides so that we can actually support the floor above <laughs> it's just gonna topple forwards uh okay and maybe how high do we need this to go so i need to make it go one more up i think and over if we move daddy blue out of the way we can put another one in here so that'll support the middle a bit and smooth it over uh, here with the translucent blue piece. And then on the outside, we're going to need a decent amount of support. So let's put, let's glass it all in, blue glass it in. And I think, I think then we should be good. So let's put this pink. Oh no, I, I just finished saying that the pink one was a bit shorter than the other one. So I need to move the pillars in. That means, I wonder if I've still got room now for my, for my potty. We need the potty. I really like the potty. That's exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's where we need it to be. I'm also going to change up the back here a bit so that I've got those little studs, the little studded piece to connect it at the right spot, just on the outside of the, oh gosh. I've <laughs> knocked everybody over. It's all good, we're all fixed. So let's put the potty, oh uh, yeah. Okay, we could put it out here. It's kind of hanging off the side, but that's still good. None of this is meant to be super sensible. That's turned out quite well. Okay, so now we have got two floors to our single colored room apartment building. Oh my goodness. And <laughs> Mummy Sky's come back home and discovered that she now has got a, has got a pink floor with Pinky McPink Pink living above them. Hopefully not stomping too much and waking up all the babies with her pink shenanigans. <laughs> all right. I think, well, I think, I think we used a lot of blue. You need to tell me in the comments where you, you think we reached blue saturation. Too much blue. Wow, my eyes hurt. And you have to tell me in the comments which color we are going to try for next because I am up for the challenge. I'm definitely afraid that I am up for the challenge. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video when it goes up. Make sure you give this video a great big thumbs up and I will be back with a new video very, very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye!